Mrs. Norris. I could have sworn I heard footsteps in here, but... Yeah, blah. Let's check the library, my sweet. Aha! I've heard you for sure this time. Quick, Mrs. Norris. You keep watch from above. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes! Intruder! <laughs> yeah. Intruder! Intruder! In the Forbidden Corridor!
Harry. How's the bean collecting? Fred and George are up to their usual tricks, I presume. I heard about your Quidditch victory. Yes, well done, Harry. On to the cuppy, what? Going on. Who was that? Someone's got past me. Where are you? And when I do, you regret it. You are regret it. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what, thought Harry. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. 
I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library for a bit, my dear.
are you, you sneaky slime? I'll catch you. Yes, 